Good morning guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to Lucifer. I gotta admit to y'all real fast, I haven't been able to get out of the driver's seat of this truck. Didn't really drive it all that much throughout the Dream Diesel giveaway number 17 campaign, purely because we got this thing so well shined up and I didn't really wanna get it dirty because it took hours to get it as clean as we did. But seeing that the campaign's over and the truck is somewhat out of the spotlight because it's essentially just waiting to hear who its new owner is, could be you, I have decided to make it my temporary daily driver and I have not regretted that decision at all. This thing is epic. The 750 horsepower Worley Custom Fab built trans married up to this L5P in conjunction with the airflow that that Stealth 67 is generating is the holy grail combination. It is amazing. The displacement and the fueling that these L5Ps gets a little bit better than the LML. So that 67 millimeter turbo spools up quick and it is addicting to say the least. Plus all the looks that this thing generates driving down the road is oh so addicting. You'll find out when you are driving it around yourself. So today we're actually going to pick up some truck parts from a familiar location. You guys might recognize it, well, from some previous videos on my channel and potentially from somebody else's channel on YouTube. You'll see what I'm talking about here soon. I happen to pick up these wheels from an oh so familiar individual. He posted them up online and I essentially DM'd him and said, look, they're mine no question of a doubt. And well, he ended up accepting my offer, which is pretty cool. It might be because we have a little bit of history together. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, here's what I mean. We are here at the 717 household, beautiful LML. Sorry guys, I don't use a real camera, but uh, L L5P, oh my bad. Uh, beautiful L5P, color matched in red. Kind of, we got a, a color match thing going on. Jack's picking up some wheels right now. I had these on, good Lord, dude. How do you maneuver this thing? <laughs> I had these on my 2020 high country. Don't need them anymore. I actually went down to a gas truck, believe it or not, but I do love it. Super cool. And uh, yeah, Jack hit me up. First one on Instagram and said, the mine. I need them. So I need yours, them. And bud. it's perfect, man. It's coming from one YouTube channel to the next. And we have like a really cool project that these are going to be going on. I can't reveal that yet because the guys don't even know. But yeah, guys, Street Speed 717 in the flesh back on the channel. It's been a minute since Long we've time. actually filmed together. Uh, the first video we ever did, we actually received a, a care package from local authorities. Oh, we, we were arrested, actually. <laughs> we got quite a history. Yeah, right, exactly. But it was fun. It was kind of interesting. And um, the only reason that we haven't made videos together over the course of the last, like, two years is purely because this man is a super busy guy. I'm a super busy guy, both with family and with business. And truthfully, yep. even though we only live, like, 20 minutes away, it's just hard to cross paths when you it's fill yourselves up with so much work but, but he's back right what, here. what i love about it we're two pa guys making it happen small town same basically small town but making it happen you know giveaways doing well everything running good so but i do have to just okay. say on the vlog i gotta thank you so much for your initial start to youtube it means oh, you the world thank me, and i know that we've gone over this but I if it wasn't for this guy right here we had become friends and then he actually shouted out my channel right when it begun and i remember that night i was literally sitting on Whatever that, what is that website where you watch your subscriber count change? Oh, it was Social Blade. Social Blade. Oh, dude, yeah. the numbers were just rolling in by the masses. Heck, and yeah. it was at that point in time that I realized, like, dude, maybe there's a thing to this. So I just got to say oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, I hey, really appreciate dude, it. Dude, that's what I do. I, so I tell everybody, everybody I meet, they're like, should I start a YouTube channel? I'm like, yes. Absolutely. Do it. You got nothing to lose. Have fun. Heck yeah, brother. So, guys, real quick. These are the wheels we're picking up, but I just I just gotta show you, I just gotta show you this ridiculously wrapped Hellcat. This thing just made a thousand horsepower to the wheels. Got a badass drag pack on it. Look at those tires. Oh my God. Skinny's up front. And actually, if you don't know, Mike does giveaways as well. If you don't know Mike, he's had a YouTube channel for a while, Street Speed 717 I just hit like 10,000 subs. 10,000 subs multiplied by a few zeros. And uh, yeah, they're giving away this Hellcat right now. Uh, rip a tuned. I'm not all that proficient when it comes to Mopar performance, but I really like the fact that this car is so much similar to Lucifer because of all the color match that they did under the hood to match this purple. And with the badging that makes this car that much more unique, it's pretty neat because as you guys know, up under the hood of Lucifer over here with that Stealth 67 and all that worldly fab greatness, we too have some color matching going on and our logo as well. So great minds think alike. If you guys want to get entered for that, it's right at in chain designs. You guys can check that out right there. Right Ooh, 15 times entries. We ran that for the end of this campaign right here. It's oh, a good yeah. time to get entered. Last 10 days, 15 Ooh, times. the countdown is real. Procrastination nation. Dude, a, now is your chance. I'm out of shape. That's what I <laughs> They're not even heavy. So we're loaded up, boys. We're ready to rock and roll. They actually have two winners that are coming in today, so I don't want to hold them up. It's not going to be the last time you see this man around. Raptor and TRX coming in.
So unfortunately here on the vlog, we couldn't hang out all that much longer, but we do have some new wheels as somewhat hand-me-downs from Mike, which is pretty cool. He had these on his high country, put them up on Instagram. I basically direct messaged him and said, look, I want to claim these things and, and we happen to sell them. Part of the reason is finding American forces right now is unbelievably difficult. Some of these big CNC wheel manufacturers are out anywhere between 16 to 25 weeks. So I've been buying a lot of secondhand wheels purely for the fact that the supply demand thing is just out of the roof right now with coronavirus. And it just so happened to work out that these absolute mint 2214 concave morph SS8s happen to be right around the corner. Loaded up boys, are ready to rock and roll. Yeah, Lucifer looks really good, but also functions oh so properly. My friends, we are loaded up and ready to rock and roll. It is legitimately a wheel warehouse over here at the shop. Definitely a very, very nice set of wheels. We got them tucked up next to our 2214. I believe these are AKAs. It looks like they're actually starting to collect a little bit of dust as they've been chilling since Dream Diesel Giveaway 15, AKA my Denali. It's pretty neat to see how this 15 and a half Fury stacks up to this 355 Nitto. When you're looking at them in a thickness perspective, wheels are the same. Tires are just a little bit different. Tread pattern a little bit different. This is a 35, 15 and a half, 22. These are roughly 34 by 14, I believe. Pretty much dead on, 14 inches. So you got a little bit of a height difference, but all things considered, it's really not that much when you're looking at an inch and a half. The interesting part about Furies is, however, that their tires actually aren't what they say they are. So if it's like a 33, 14 and a half, it's actually more like a 33, 13 and a half. So when you put it on a 14 inch wide wheel, it almost looks somewhat stretched, kind of like the brushed nemesis that we had on my 2020 Denali. Something to keep in mind when you guys are on your tire buying adventures, and right there is kind of a good point where you can see them side by side, that if that was truly 15 and a half inches tall, compared to a 14, that's an inch and a half her wheel Wheel, and then you've got four wheels so you're looking at a six inch difference where this right here is called that an inch and a half it's like a 14 and a quarter and you add it up and you get to like an inch and a half eh, kind of just one of those things so yes as i alluded to we have a new build that's going to be coming to the channel and i'm really really excited about it it's going to be actually a very special one that i mentioned when we were up at the homestead uh before i got convict uh before i got sarge it was actually before we picked this truck up do you guys remember how i said that i had a really unique opportunity to buy a truck that was kind of similar to the og well yeah i still have that opportunity it's really a lot more similar in so many different ways than you can ever imagine and i'll get into telling that story when we reveal that truck hopefully here within the next week time frame roughly uh and yes we are going to be doing an og version 2 build uh, and it's going to share a very special story it's really meaningful for me because i built my original truck over the course of a few years and i really exhausted pretty much all of my resources in the efforts of building that truck and i built it to be one of the most memorable trucks that i'll ever own. Everyone carries an amazing story. I love them all uh, because I really invest a lot of sentimental value into my builds, especially from vision to reality, right? But the OG V2 is going to be more than that in a lot of ways. And uh, well, we've got two sets of 2214 8x180 wheels that are sitting right there behind us. It's just now we have to decide which ones might be going on OG V2. And well, we might have uh, a whole slew of other parts lined up for that build, more or less in my mind, not actually physically in person right now, but we're working on getting them and it's gonna be a really exciting build. So yes, I kind of just did spoil the surprise, but I already mentioned it some time ago. We ended up picking up Sarge, which I'm so happy you did because look at this freaking beast here behind me the thing looks insane but the og v2 build is quickly coming up ah uh, guys now looking around the shop i also just need to talk to you all a little bit about the current state of the shop it's very much in a current state of disarray it's a mess and i'm not really a messy person unless you ask my wife or jake but i try to be as clean as i possibly can at least i can build clean trucks and sometimes i make a mess around me while i'm doing that oh but the shop is in just such a disarray we've got jtx forge boxes with microfiber We've got F450 parts from Sarge and Convict. We've got tools literally littered everywhere. There are boxes piled up that need to go out to trash. There's just so much kind of stuff going on in here right now. And part of the main reason that I am so disorganized and this place looks like it's in a current state of disarray is the fact that I'm really kind of thinking forward into what the new pole building space is going to offer us. And I don't really want to invest in any more organization for this specific building as my mind is already kind of moved on. And I physically don't want to spend or exhaust any resources in here because the new building is going to offer so much more space and it's actually going to need 
need a little bit of a more unique arrangement. It's one of those side thoughts that I just wanted to share with you guys because I know that y'all are just as excited as I am about getting this new building and what it's basically going to offer for future builds, projects, settings, especially for the vlog and everything like that. So every single time I walk in here, I'm like, oh, it's not up to my standards, but it's only somewhat temporary, hopefully shorter than longer. This is driving me nuts though. Uh, we gotta get some things cleaned up, boys. The behind the scenes of our builds can get rather cardboardy. the beginning of the month i knew that republic was gonna be out here soon i was hoping to get all that stuff in there because i only had half of a dumpster but uh oh well timing wouldn't work out any other way right I believe somebody would just let their ferrari sit outside like that in the rain my god what a disgrace <laughs> the next day. Day two on the vlog because guys, I fill my days up with so much epic activity that sometimes I get so caught up in just enjoying the day that I don't turn my camera on. Sometimes you would think that like, well, Jack, you're a YouTuber, but when both your hands are tied up, sometimes it's hard to hold the camera. So short of the long is, welcome to another beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. Although yesterday was raining, it was still a gorgeous day because I got to whip Lucifer all around for all the running that I do every single day. And it was epic in so many different ways. This truck not only performs flawlessly as it looks good, but man, when it's dirty and looking like a daily, I'll tell you what, it looks equally as good. It's being used. But today's going to be a beautiful day. Blue skies in the forecast. I'm going to be running all around Lancaster County, and I can't be showing off Lucifer all dirty. These things literally sold out in a heartbeat. I got mine brand new unboxed because I've been using the old one, but we've got a brand new revised Big Mouth foam cannon. That is uh, pretty epic. I'm not going to lie. Check it out. Not only do we have customized boxing, which is just something that I'm kind of somewhat proud of, but we've also got this epic arrangement. Boom, right here. So we're going to give this thing a shot this morning. Give Give it a shot, no pun intended. Haha, <laughs> dad jokes. And uh, hopefully my power washer doesn't run out of gas because I have none up the house because it's all in my motor right now. Only time will tell. Denali, we gotta open up the sunroof because we got 65 and sunny in the forecast with partly cloudy blue skies, my friend. There's no better day to whip Lucifer than this day right now. And you will know exactly what I'm feeling as you sit behind the wheel piloting your 67 millimeter Denali with $30,000 cash chilling at your disposal. Yes, dudes, yes, 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 yes. This is what I'm talking about, man. I've actually never forgotten what it's like to feel like on that evening of Christmas day. It's just that it's somewhat evolved because it happens for me multiple times a year and it's mostly triggered by Peach Bottom Auto Body. Boys and girls, we are down here to pick up Sarge's paint matched parts. I'm extremely excited to be looking at actually a bumper that doesn't have a small little gash in the paint because of my idiocy and a tailgate that looks truthfully better than brand new. Half wrapped already. We're going to have to bring these up to Brody's later in the vlog to get those rewrapped. But yes, boys and girls, we are here to pick up some, not all, some, not all of Sarge's paint matched goodies. Ooh, look at the grill. What do you guys notice? Anything different? What do you see? What do you see? All of these vertical bars used to be chrome and now that is gone. Looks like the guys are working on this nice platinum. Ooh, paint match mirrors. Look at those looking oh so smooth and brand new spanking new paint is the best thing ever. Oh man. Ooh, dude, this is what I'm talking about. 
We've got a whole bunch of Ford stuff going on here today. And I'm not, I don't even have any problems with it at all. Man, these badges. There's your Ford badge, platinum badge, pulled out the platinum. This is not, you can't separate these. You actually have to stencil each one of those and cover them, mask them off. Platinum side badges looking mint. This thing is gonna look like a completely different piece. It leaves here front valence, fog light bezels. Oh yeah, boys. This guy's got good taste. So we're down here today to pick up some, not all of Sarge's parts. We've got a, I, I gave these guys a ton of work and there's a lot of prep that goes into this stuff. So today is trip one of two trips. We've got some of Sarge's badges still over here. We're in the process of getting those all prepped and ready for paint. We've actually got our center caps from American Force that are gonna be going on the now black 24s. These are gonna look awesome. It's a two piece design as a matter of fact. So you can take the insert out from the actual cap itself. You can see that the sanding process has begun here in preparation for paint. We've got some ovals going on. We've got some lights that are gonna go in mirrors. We've got our side badges that are making their way. Oh yes, guys, this is super exciting stuff right here. A before and an after, but Stellar Steve 90, my man, my, my man, what, what are we, what? What, what, what are we doing here? We got all this stuff nice and paint matched. Uh, if I was to be a betting man, I would say that Mr. Stellar Steve 90 is gonna be back for some headlight mods if I do say so myself. Not to publicly shame your truck though, because it looks really good, dude. Like really, really good. But headlights will make it look better. Would you just look at it? <laughs> just look at it! Yeah. Oh my goodness, it is just so beautiful. Clears lenses on the side. We've got everything all masked out. Sean. Dude. You just, you just keep doing it, my friend. It is just, you're just an expert. My goodness. I cannot wait to get this all back together. We got Sarge's taillights, they're brake lights. We did go tinted with this, but not super crazy dark tint, just because we wanted a little bit of contrast in the back. Plus, really, really black taillights, in my opinion, have a place, but not on Sarge. Then we've got our tailgate handle bezel trim, Chrome Delete King gone. We've got all of our window trims right here. And then we've got our door handles all painted in that ever so beautiful black. Oh boys, and it's just Christmas day down here. Peach Bottom Auto Body is a magical place, my friends. Magical, magical place. I'm so happy we never painted these things. Yeah. Like I use that step all the yeah. time and whoever takes this truck is gonna thank us for yeah, that yeah. as well. Like I see the aesthetic of wanting to paint those, but the functional aspect, like you don't you don't wanna ever step on this cause you're gonna scratch it right away. But that, it leaves it so functional and you get the form. Best of both worlds. Thank you. Nothing but the best. What are those going on? Uh, customer shipped in, I think some Ram mirrors, I think. Dude, nice. Some third gen Ram, fourth gen style mirrors. Boys, I gotta say, it's usually the coolest feeling knowing that you're sending your parts to my man right here, Sean. Corey, everybody over here at Peach Bottom getting it done. You guys are literally sending your parts from out of state just because you trust in their paint match quality. And believe me, it is not a bad decision by any means. Nothing but the best. We are just loaded up and ready to rock. Everything is ever so strategically placed. Look at how much Sean cares. He takes this microfiber, I don't even know where this came from, lays down the paint match part. So it's perfectly, it's not even, it would have been resting on leather, but rather it's better on a microfiber. We got parts that are literally in the back seat pockets of both seats. Tail lights, grill, and uh, yeah, there's <laughs> there's a tail light right there. Oh, we gotta get to our next destination. <laughs> Just bouncing all around Lancaster County today. Does anybody recognize? Those tread marks right there. We're taking a back approach in the Accelerate Auto today. It's like a water line had burst in their driveway, so we couldn't go in the main entrance. But look at this service, VIP. We've got Ken backing up with the Tahoe. We're gonna load the tailgate and the bumper in the back here. Man, nothing but the best, boys. Oh, you studly SOB, you are about to look even better. And you're already a 12 out of 10 in my book. I don't know how you could look any better, but I think I really know how because I actually have some parts that belong to you that you've missed very much. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I tend to talk to my trucks like that because, you know, they have personality. I think I'm partly responsible for that, though. So, guys, that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. We got a ton of stuff done. We cleaned out the shop. We ran down to Peach Bottom Auto Body. We stopped at Accelerate Auto, dropped all the parts off. As we're nearing the final steps of completion with this truck, I'm so freaking excited. The leveling kit on this thing's looking insane. Those black box shocks just so happen to consequently work out so well. They just coordinate with it beautifully. I cannot wait 
to get this truck out. So what I'm gonna do now is pretty much wrap up here, getting all these parts out of the Denali, laying them all out on, on the ground and uh, starting the reassembly process. I'm gonna prioritize with headlights because they need to actually seal and cure and then everything else can begin from there. Major updates coming to you guys very, very soon for Convict. So that being said, as always, thank you guys for watching this channel. I hope you guys are liking the new camera setup. I think I finally found what I was looking for. We landed with a Panasonic GH5. I've got a new lens on here. It's a 12 to 35 millimeter F2.8. Really like the setup. The lens and camera body have in-body image stabilization, so they work together to get you that buttery footage. I guess worst comes to worst, I can always film it on my cell phones, but I really like having a dedicated camera. Because one thing you guys don't see about how I handle a lot of what I do with my business is the fact that I'm literally always on the phone when I'm not recording, and when I'm not recording, I'm on the phone. So I don't really know how I'd be able to record and be on the phone all the time without being interrupted with my phone calls you guys catch my drift. Smash that subscribe button, boys! And I'll see y'all in the next upload. Casey, you know what I think that I need to do? You need to upgrade to the GH5. Oh, yes. <laughs>